Hello guys, so in this video I'll unbox the Samsung 860 EVO SSD, how to install the Samsung EVO SSD, and how to use the Samsung migration. So first, here is the box of the Samsung 860 EVO. So let's check the box. So what's inside this box? So let's check it out. So first is the SSD. The Samsung 860 SSD. For this video, I'm using the 500GB Samsung SSD. Then we need the SATA cable to, to connect it to our computer, to our laptop. So I need this case to install it on my computer so that it won't move. So how to install this SSD to your computer? So you need your SATA cord. This one will go to your power supply, to your CPU power supply. Then that's it. Then this SATA cord will go to your SATA port. So this is the cord that we need from your CPU power supply. Then let's insert this or install this to your SSD. And the other end of your SATA cable will be inserted to your SATA port in your CPU so it will look like this after installing inserting the ports your SATA cable and your power supply cable how to use the Samsung migration software so first go to Google, type Samsung Data Migration, then click the Samsung website, then go to the Data Migration, go to Data Migration, then click the plus button to expand, then download the latest version of the Samsung Data Migration software. After downloading, let's install it. Run as administration. Click next. Next, install. Then let's wait for the installation to complete.
So, after installation, first things first, we need to make sure that no application is running in our background computer. So first, let's go to command prompt. Go to windows, type cmd or command prompt, run as administration. Then type check this or chkdsk and press enter. It will take around 30 seconds to read your computer or check if there are some errors in your computer. So let's wait. And after checking, you can see that file system and that there are no found errors or problems. So if there are errors found, just type check this space slash F to fix the problem. Or if there are no errors, just press exit or close the command prompt. Then, after checking if there are some errors or fixing the errors in your command prompt, make sure that all the system or all the programs in your background are closed. So, how to do that? So, on your lower right. So, make sure that all the programs running on your background computer or on your laptop, make sure that it all are closed because if there are running programs, it won't clone the program. Cloning will not complete it, so this the this is the most important part of installation or cloning. So all the program should be closed and don't interrupt the cloning process. After cloning, it will automatically shut down your computer. <laughs> 